Hello, hello, my name is Callista, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we still had to find our brother Fergus, however, we have more important things to take care of right now. Namely, trying to persuade Iona to spend a little bit of time with us later. That is a wonderful dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. <laughs> Happy Bark. Greetings once again, my lady. Not only is she exceptionally beautiful, she praises our dog. What more could a woman ask for, really? Good evening. I haven't seen many elven ladies in waiting. How did you come to know Lady Landra? You are very pretty, if I might say so. So if you do want to seduce either Dairon or Iona, you need to do two of the flirt lines, and then you will get an option that says... Maybe you'll, you'd like to spend some time with me later. Also, you can only seduce one of them. You can't have both. The game will not allow it. Hmm. So I don't... I don't think Marnie's the type of person to just go in with a compliment. She kind of... She wants an opening. So she is going to go through these questions. However, if I may be very blunt, she doesn't really care... She's just trying to get Iona into a state where she's comfortable enough that Marnie kind of thinks she'd be willing to come with me later. As I said, Marnie is not a nice person, and I think I'm going to have to keep saying that. I haven't seen many elven ladies in waiting. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, I see that you have no ladies in waiting. Is this usual for a noblewoman of your rank? I don't like others serving me. If I had a maid like yourself, I might consider it. Maybe a little. I've never needed one. Yep, there is our opening. If I had a maid like yourself, I might consider it. You are very kind, my lady. I am nobody special. You make me blush. How did you come to know Lady Landra? My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. You have a daughter? Forgive me, I shouldn't have mentioned her. It's quite all right. Tell me about her. I bet she has your beautiful eyes. As I said, Marnie really doesn't care about Iona's answers. I bet she has your beautiful eyes. She does. Many people say she looks a great deal like me. I'm the only one who sees her father in her. You don't hope for more for your daughter. It sounds like Lady, Lady Landra has been good to you. I think we should get to know each other better. Yeah, um, Marnie, now that Marnie feels like she can get what she wants, she's going to drop all pretenses. I think we should get to know each other better. Aren't we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Something more intimate. Later on in my room, Getting together and talking after all this is over? I'm not sure. I just like you. That's all. Nothing. Forget I mentioned it. Something more intimate. Later on in my room. I... I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lady? Please, call me Marnie. Yes, that would be very agreeable. On second thought, maybe not. Yes, that would be very agreeable. Until tonight, then. Yes, get in there, my girl. Um, we should probably talk to Dairon. Just to, just to be polite, you know. Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? I don't want to talk about books, Dairon. It was my grandfather's, but I come here often to read. My grandfather's. I really have no idea. Um... I can see Marnie coming to the study to read. As I mentioned before, her parents don't really let her leave the castle. And the few times she's allowed out into High Ever itself, she's accompanied. And as such, once she's gotten through training with her beau for the day, talking to Fergus, spending some time with her dog, she really doesn't have that much to do. So I think... You know, she does do a lot of reading. It was my grandfather's, but I come here often to read. So would I. 
Do you have a favourite book? I don't want to talk about books, Dyron. No, not really, no. The Dragons of Tevinter by Brother Timius. The Art of Passionate Love by Brother Capria. I've got to go with number four. I simply have to. The Art of Passionate Love by Brother Capria. Oh, that was banned by the Chantry, wasn't it? Quite provocative, I understand. I've, uh, never read it myself. I could tell you all about it. It isn't really meant for reading. I'm only joking, Dyron. It isn't really meant for reading. No, I, uh, I'd heard that. Hence the banning. I should go. So you're going to be riding with my father tomorrow. Do you know anything about the Grey Wardens? Let's talk about me. I like that topic. I'd like to get to know you a little better. Uh, yes, as I said, Marnie is only being polite. He is, he is beneath her. However, he is taking up a position with her father, you know, serving him. So I, I think she would be a little bit interested in that. So you're going to be riding with my father tomorrow? Yes, though I don't know when. I will leave when your father does. I'll ride as his second. A glorified squire, more or less. I'll care for his horse and armor and such. It's quite an honor. Will you actually fight? You consider it an honor to do menial tasks? Of course he should. He's doing menial tasks for a great man and he is lesser, so obviously quite an honor. Will you actually fight? I hope so. I admit to trepidation about facing Darkspawn, but I can't imagine an opponent more worthy of defeat. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Grey Wardens? No more than anyone else. Is it true there is one here in the castle? Have you met him? It's true, I've met him. I really shouldn't say, no, it's not true. It's true, I've met him. I joined the Grey Wardens in a heartbeat. Can you imagine destroying the Darkspawn forever? Becoming a hero? But I'd never gain a Grey Warden's notice. I'll have to be happy under your father's command. Again, Marnie is just very confused by all of this. So many people have said, Oh yeah, I'd love to go join the Grey Wardens. It'd be amazing. And Marnie's just kind of like, Would it? Would it really? You are all weird people. I don't know. I should go. Of course, milady. I am sure you have much to do yet. Mmm, we do. We we still have to find Fergus. I think I think Marnie's pretty happy about uh, getting Iona to agree to come to her room. I do think that is something she'd be interested in having a um it shall be a done. maid servant, you know, a lady in waiting who is her lover. As I, as I said before in the last part, Marnie is a lesbian. She only wants to seduce the king because that's how she's gonna get on the throne. So I, I think she would find it, do it very agreeable to have, you know, you know, she goes, she has sex with the king because that's, you know, her duty. But then she retires to her own rooms and there's, there's her lover, you know, providing actual comfort and genuine pleasure. Okay, Fergus. Is there really going to be a war, Papa? Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little sister to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Should I wait outside? Just let me know when you two are finished. No Darkspawn could harm Fergus. You two are nauseating me. Um, I don't think she'd be nauseated by, you know, their affection. She doesn't understand it. From Marnie's perspective, the world is full of people who are very overdramatic. But she's not the kind of person who, you know, rolls her eyes and oh my god, I'm gonna puke, get a room, you two. She's, she's bemused by it more than anything. So not number four, and I don't think number two, and number three is factually incorrect. So yeah, I'm gonna go with number one. Should I wait outside? Stay. I'd like to say farewell. 
I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. I wish I could go with you. Hell no. You'll be missed, brother. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Do you really think the war will be over quickly? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll ask our brother some questions before he leaves. Did you know there's a Grey Warden in the castle? Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? He says he's recruiting. He's going to test Sir Gilmore. It's not important. He's going to test Sir Gilmore. Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that Father would ever allow it. Do you really think the war will be over quickly? Word from the South is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. I do think that Marnie would miss Fergus. So, Marnie does have emotions. They're just very muted. That's how I'd call it. From Marnie's perspective, she feels things very deeply. It's just that everyone else is overdramatic. She doesn't realize that the problem is with me. The problem is that I don't feel things as deeply as everyone else. She thinks I feel things in perfectly reasonable amounts. It's just that, you know, everyone else goes over the top with their emotions. So yeah, I, I think she will miss her brother. After all, he was the one, I think, who probably, you know, said, oh, why don't you put Marnie in charge of the castle? So she's, she's very grateful to him. You'll be missed, brother. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. Uh, yeah, Marnie does not wish that she could go with Fergus and her father. So we're gonna, we're gonna skip straight to number one. I bring a message. Father wants you to leave without him. Then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darks born to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. A good shield would be more useful. You could have delivered your message yourself, father. Fergus will be fine. He just might need those prayers. Yeah, I do think that Marnie would be a little bit annoyed of like, why did you send me to do this thing when you were gonna do it anyway? Like I'm worth a lot more than a delivery girl, you know, father. You could have delivered your message yourself, father. And miss having both my children in one place before I leave? Not likely. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. Uh, for the men, of course. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Bryce, make us breath. It's like living with a pair of small boys. Thankfully, I have a daughter. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her, sister, won't you? Oh, just go already. You can count on me. You'll need protecting more than her. Mother can handle herself. Always has. Yeah, her mother's a competent woman. And I don't think Marnie looks at her and thinks, yeah, she needs... She needs special treatment. She needs to be taken care of. Nah, Eleanor can handle herself just fine. Mother can handle herself. Always has. It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. And much to do later tonight. Hell yeah. Okay, uh, we've got a level. <laughs> there we go. And... Ooh, let's, let's go for this. 
Might as well. And melee archer, that'll be good. And we have codex entries. Darkspawn, and this is different from the, the Darkspawn codex entry that you get when you're a dwarf, so I will read this one. Those who had sought to claim heaven by violence destroyed it. What was golden and pure turned black. Those who had once been mage lords, the brightest of their age, were no longer men, but monsters. Threnodes 12.1 Sin was the midwife that ushered the darkspawn into this world. The magisters fell from the golden city, and their fate encompassed all our worlds, for they were not alone. No one knows where the darkspawn come from. A dark mockery of men, in the darkest places they thrive, growing in numbers as a plague of locusts will. In raids, they will often take captives, dragging their victims alive into the deep roads. But most evidence suggests that these are eaten. Like spiders, it seems darkspawn prefer their food still breathing. Perhaps they are simply spawned by the darkness. Certainly we know that evil has no trouble perpetuating itself. The last blight was in the Age of Towers, striking once again at the heart of Devinter, spreading south into Orlais and east into the Free Marches. The plague spread as far as Ferelden, but the withering and twisting of the land stopped well beyond our borders. Here, Darkspawn have never been more than the stuff of legends. In the Northern Lands, however, particularly Tevinter and the Anderfels, they say Darkspawn haunt the hinterlands, preying on outlying farms and isolated villages, a constant threat. From Ferelden Folklore and History by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. Uh, anything else? No, just some controls. There we go. So yeah, we, we do have a lot to do. However, I, I think Marnie would like to talk to her family. Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Auntie? I wish you wouldn't call me that. Yes, that's true, Oren. It's not going to be very exciting. Um, I don't think that Marnie has any problem being called Auntie. She is his aunt. Yes, that's true, Oren. What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. Aww. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Auntie? Then I can fight evil too. Take that, Dire Bunny. All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. Truthiness? Maybe ask your mother. I'm not much for swords myself, Oren. You bet. Let's go. Um. Yeah, I... One, I don't think Marnie would be willing to teach this kid how to defend himself... Just in case, you never know. Um, I think she'd be more freaked out, to be honest, with fear my sword of truthiness. What What does that even mean? Truthiness? We're teaching him about honesty. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. Oh, Fergus, with that dramatic foreshadowing. If you should need any assistance in the coming days, I would be glad to offer it. That's nice, but we're going to reject that offer. We can we can keep control over Castle Coosland. It's fine. Getting sent to bed early, are we? I don't mind. I have someone waiting for me. Have fun on the long march in the cold. I'd still rather be going with you. I certainly hope not. I don't mind. I have someone waiting for me. What? You saucy minx. Fergus, really? It's the elven last that arrived with Lady Landra, isn't it? Don't you tell me it isn't. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. Also, our brother accepts our sexuality even better. Thank you, brother. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm being honest, I think what Marnie plans at this stage is that she'll stay at the castle for a couple of weeks, maybe, just to, you know, give the illusion of like, oh yes, I'm, I'm doing what I'm told, da da da, and then when it's safe, she'll, 
she'll create some like, oh, well, I have to go to Denerim for this. It's it's a matter of, you know, urgency, bye. And then she'll, she'd probably leave Oriana in charge during that time. But whilst Marnie is here keeping up the pretense of doing what her parents told her, she doesn't want there to be any kind of power struggle. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Are you sure you'll be all right about this Grey Warden? Is sending all our forces south a good idea? I'll go now. Yeah, he's only leaving behind like a token guard at the castle. And I, I do think that would be concerning to Marnie. Is sending all of our forces south a good idea? When the king demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems, but I want you to prepare the men left here, in case. In case of what? Are you sure you'll be all right about this Grey Warden? I'll go now. In case of what? Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, you must prepare for the worst. All right, now you're scaring me, father. I'll do my best, father, I swear it. And what can I do with a handful of guards? Mmm. Not number one. And as I said, Marnie does intend on leaving Coos yeah, Castle Coosland at some point. Yeah, I, I I think she would be questioning, like, I've you've left me with, like, ten people. What am I going to do with this? And what can I do with a handful of guards? I trust you to do what is best. And don't be afraid to ask your mother's advice. She's Feraldenborn. Strong, just as you are. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. Are you sure you'll be all right? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my darling daughter. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlin name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear girl. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. I don't think Marnie believes him when he says, I trust you completely. I think, I think where Bryce is coming from in this is that it's not so much that he trusts her, it's that he's having to trust her. You know, there's a blight, terrible things could happen. Yes, we have Oren and Oriana as like backup, but she's our only remaining child. We've got to put our faith in her. And I do think he does love her despite what she is and what she's done. I do think he genuinely does love her. I'll go now. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a sensible woman. That much is clear. I do think that Marnie is sensible. She's definitely psychopathic, but she does things for reasons. It's not like back when she was a kid and she used to torture animals for fun. Everything she does, she does do for a reason. Unfortunately, that reason is typically getting ahead, elevating my position. So, ooh. Okay. Oh, we, we don't even have to enter our room. Mar Marnie is a quick worker. She's just like, Iona, get up here. Your hound is making so much noise. He seems so angry. What did you do to him? Oh, just ignore him. I could put him out in the hall. Perhaps something is wrong. Um, I don't think that Scout has ever led Marnie astray. She does trust that dog. Perhaps something is wrong. I thought I heard yelling when I woke up, 
But now I hear nothing. I'm gonna see if someone's in the hall. Oh dear. A uh, big oofs. Um, okay, let's let's get our stuff quickly. And don't don't ask how Marnie is equipping this stuff in the middle of ba battle. She she just can. Um, let's take the two daggers, and I will absolutely equip this stuff. There we go. We still need to find a bow. And get stunned. There we go. And you can bugger off. Oh. Two people trying to get to our mother's door. Come on, take him out. A dog. Dog really doesn't seem to be doing anything, but it's fine. I don't suppose you dropped a bow. Fantastic. Uh, there's nothing else in our room, is there? No. Oh. Poor Iona. Oh well. Equip that. There we go. Fantastic. Now then, you. You too. Enemies ahead. Get away from that door. Good job, Scout. There we go. Darling, I heard fighting outside and I feared the worst. Are you hurt? I'm fine. What's going on? I was about to ask you that. Yes, I need some a aid. Those men killed Iona. I'm fine. What's going on? The scream woke me up. There were men in the hall, so I barred the door. Did you see their shields? Those are Howl's men. Why would they attack us? He's betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. I don't know, mother, but we need to get out of here. Maybe you want to find How and ask him? He's betrayed father. He attacks while our troops are gone. You don't think Howl's men were delayed? On purpose? That bastard. I'll cut his lying throat myself. Have you seen your father? He never came to bed. No, I haven't. I was in my room. Maybe he stayed up with Al How. He could already be dead, mother. Mmm. Number two is a good point. Father and How were old friends. He could have stayed up for a drink. Maybe he stayed up with Al How. We must find him. Maybe you should stay here. Can you still handle a weapon, mother? We should. It sounds like the battle's downstairs. We should check on Oriana and Oren as well. Hmm. They were just across the hall from us. As, as I said, Marnie would be willing to kill Oren if she had to. At the same time, they are still family. Oren is a Coosland. And so by, th by that extent she does care for him we should check on oriana and oren as well and trust his mercy what if the soldiers went into your brother's room first let's check on them quickly then we'll look for bryce downstairs okay. oh scout leveled up okie doke uh you can take that there we go uh is there anything in here perhaps we can salvage some things here darling some of your father's belongings are in that trunk Good stuff. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that is better. That is a lot better. Thank you. Thank you, father. Okie doke. And mother. Um. No, that's, that's puppy. Uh, mother is also an archer. Oh, dear. Um. I'll give her the bow because that's that's what she's good at using. But it's a little bit awkward. We we have Scout. We have Scout who can take the people up front. It's fine. And 
Did you drop something as well? Thank you. Okay, so I am out of time for this episode. In the next one, we will check on Oren and Oriana. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.